Hello and welcome to Backlog Conquering. We have a new game and it's Tesla Grad. I'm going to be playing this on the PS4. I was originally thinking about doing this on the PS3, but unfortunately no donations have come through for a controller, so I'll do the PS4 version. And I don't mind that. Quick look at the options. All I remember about this game is that it was PlayStation Plus and it's a puzzle platformer. There is a chance that I maybe have played this on PS3, so I may not get some trophies immediately. I'm not too sure. This is, oh, what, nearly 10 years old, this game, on PlayStation, so it's been a while. Let's start a new game. Well, it was all empty, so I guess I haven't done anything on PS4. If you aren't familiar with the series, the goal isn't necessarily to finish, it's just to play. The animation is really cool. And so is the art style. That's me, well she pointed this way, so I guess we're gonna go this way. Oh cool, you can see the rain on my head. Some nice fluid motion. I oh, see there's a pic there's a poster right there that could have done done tutorial there. I'm guessing X. Okay. Oh there was a goon down there. Ooh. Stick to the roof? Yeah, we can. So I don't know the story. I don't remember anything about this at the time of reviews. So I'm really going in with very little memories. And that's what I like about this series. It's a way for me. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, the whole point of Backlog Conquering, as I said, isn't to finish, it's to play. If you don't play, how can you have an opinion about a game? So the point is to play and get an opinion. Do you like it? Or don't like it? Or do you want to finish? Or not? That's the whole point. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Or oh, is immediate with the puzzling and the platforming. What do I need to do here? I can't climb anything. Maybe it's just a way for me to get ahead of the guard. Maybe. Oh, I can't. Is there anything on here? I'm not imagining there's collectibles. You never know. Ah, the animation, the art style, it reminds me of the PS3 version of um, A Boy in a Blob. Which is a remake of, I think, a Nintendo game. Or NES, I should say, game. I've played that on um, when it was PlayStation uh, Now, I think. Oh, well, that's kind of the feel I get from this. Whoa! Okay, okay. It's a bit intense to start off with. Yeah, I was imagining that. Ooh, it's electric. Oh, nuts. Okay, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But at the moment, it doesn't feel 
insurmountable. It feels like it's just a lack of experience that I don't know about it. I don't know how to play it. That's what it feels like rather than it being intentionally too difficult. Well, uh, a little bit of pressure the, with the guards. Now, are they after me? I assume the man was my father. Okay, my father. Maybe something about that. Something political. I don't know. It's a lot of intrigue. Guess up. Down. Hell, there's a big building. Wait, is that the boss guy or the main guy, isn't it? Oh. Ah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Can we make it? We can. What's all this? Huh, now we get a tutorial. I think what could have been just to make it a little bit better is when you're or her mum or the woman when she points straight she could have had a speech bubble and that could have had like the jump button I think that's the only thing I would say would that could, they could have done the tutorial okay so we've got to touch this guy go blue and up whoa there's a critter down there okay the blue doesn't last Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. How do we get this guy? Oh, no, we gotta jump over it. The orb thing's a little too friendly. Ah! What do the other buttons do? Is that like a half a jump or something? No. Well, just look at that idol. You can almost see like him breathing, the clothes moving, the hair, the eyes blinking. It's it looks really good. Ah, oh, okay. So I have to wait for the robot to hurt himself. This is a nice little tutorial section. Showing us red does one thing. Blue doesn't ever. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. That's what I need to do. Ah, jumping is a little floaty. I'm going to switch to D-pad. Maybe that will help. Nope. Okay, so the jump is a little floaty. That's something that I imagine you can get used to. Rather than it being a huge problem. Oh. Why don't we go up then? Let's see if he's there. Maybe there's something up here. Ah, oh, fist. So. So blue is left, red is right. Now I can't get that back down. Well, I can shoot down. Oh shoot, I can punch up and I can punch down. Okay. Oh wait, will it do? Oh, I can't remember which game it was, which video. I was lamenting how games, when you look up and down, no longer pan the camera up or down. It does it. <laughs>
I grew up on Mega Drive and Master System, and those games. How are you meant to get up there? And those games are all about looking up and down, especially with like Sonic. to do it's like I want to explore but I know that there feels like there's an uh, element of get things out of the way quickly I don't think I can go up there I think that person if we look up we need something else there's something more we don't have yet so reds attracted to blue, I think that's how that works. <laughs> I just had to see that if that would squish me and it didn't. Okay, well so far the puzzling is not that bad. I'll do that there. Now, what am I? Mean, I'm going to do something here. Oh, that. Okay. We've got to jump. Huh. There's a lot of... <laughs> whoops. A lot of interesting mechanics already with this game. This early on. Yeah, we've got to avoid those critters. Can I punch them? I want to try punching. I don't think it works. Yes, you can. Punch, 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 punch. Wow. That effect when it goes around your body is kind of cool. <laughs> Nearly lost it there. I don't think I want to touch that. I'm starting to think there's going to be a lot of backtracking in this game. That's not necessarily a bad thing. There's a whole genre based around it. I just hope that it's going to be handled well. I'm not entirely sure how that worked that. What do I need to do? Okay. I feel like I'm perhaps stumbling to the solution rather than 100% understanding how it all works. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Now I meant to ride that all the way up there. How do I get that to respawn? There we go, okay. So they do respawn. I'm guessing when we go up on blue, this of course is repulsing. And same with red, it doesn't attract, they push away from each other. I mean, that's kind of what's happening. So I turn this to red, it'll push away from it. <laughs> yeah.
Hmm. Ah, I can't make it. I think I actually do need to be hit by the uh, little critter. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, and that's in that time I don't need to be hit. So wait for that to go. Ooh, I have jumped on top of it. Okay, I need this one again. What do I need to do here? Again, I don't think I could do anything because of the the white barrier. Ooh. <laughs> okay. thing is I'm not convinced any of this is the right direction it feels like a boss oh, what does it want come on eat eat I'm guessing he wants needs to eat it. I don't know why it's doing damage. Ah, oh, come on. How was I meant to know? Okay. How do I dodge giant flames? That's gonna be interesting. Did you see that? I just went straight up. Wow. Thankfully, autosave is really good at all the checkpoint is. And the respawn is really quick as well. But how do I get out of the firing range? best to avoid it. Can I jump? <laughs> okay. Did you see that? It then sped up on me. Oh, that's an annoying boss. <laughs> Stay this side, close to the edge, and run away. You see, it's now going a lot quicker than before. times. Is it now fire again? Nope, not yet. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Oh, ah! Got stuck! We gotta go from the beginning. Ah, that sucks. Well, this may not be from the beginning. It feels faster. We might have gone straight to Round two. Uh, 
How do you stay? <gasps> no. No, that's not fair. So, this side again. And stay. Woo! And I think it was from the beginning. I don't think we we came back in round two. I mean, we just did round one again. <laughs> Can't believe we got stuck behind the boxes there. punch is not really accurate as I want it to be. Okay, so again, over his side. No! The floaty jump! This game was going so well up until this f boss boy point. I don't even know if I'm meant to be here. No maps, no signposting. I've just ended up here. If this is correct, who knows? <laughs> That's the thing. This all environmental storytelling means I don't know if this is where I need to be. This is just where I am. don't want to jump that far but I just as I said the, the jump is so floaty it's very hard to adjust for at the moment I'm sure the floaty jump will play a part in platforming later it's just right now not quite what I need also kind of makes me wonder if one of the abilities we get later or some thing we get helps with the jump? I don't know. <laughs> I got really close. I feel like when I'm trying to run, I perhaps got the analog stick up angled just a little bit up and the game's thinking I wanted to punch upwards and that's not really my goal for a lot of this but it just seems to be what's happening okay so trying to jump up more than any direction Huzzah. Okay. Kind of expecting the conveyor belt to change direction then. too much more of this. This is like the first boss. Ah, come on, this is really... It, I am fully trying to go left. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh, 
can't move much more, surely. Oh, thank goodness for that. Can I just climb? Yeah, okay. Not even a trophy for it, either. Does that mean that wasn't even a big boss? That was just a boss? You see, they're all wearing different clothes to me. I can't get up there, so that can't be the right way. It's a weird world we're in at the moment. Ah, new power-up. I don't think I want to test it out on those, though. I think I have to test it out to get back up. Oh no! Huh. Okay. Whoa. You carry momentum. Oh, that's going to be really difficult to manage. See, I just let go of the analog stick then. Because all it said was press square, there's no hints or tips about how best to use it. If they're on that fan blade, then the lighting doesn't help. Yeah, just make it out on this. What it looks like one here, underneath us, shows us moving. I don't know. It's like, I get the impression that either tutorializing or environmental storytelling could be better. I don't want to mess with that, but I think I'm going to have to. This is what it means by puzzle platformer. Hmm, can I look down? What's down there? Oh man, where's it gonna put me? Ah, oh. it's not the worst, but have you noticed there's been no save points? I haven't seen anything up for checkpoint, so I assume something's happening. If I was to stop today, where, when could I stop? I can't understand why it's not obvious. They're going for storytelling, seamless world. How save points and checkpoints would ruin the immersion. They need to recharge, so that's not the way to do it. I'm going to hit start. Okay, there's nothing there about when the last autosave was. Some games would say last autosaved uh, like five minutes ago or two minutes ago, so you have a rough idea how much you're gonna lose. The enemies are really weird. There we go. On fireflies. Show me where to go.
Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. So I can't. Punching the flower doesn't do anything. I can't seem to. I wonder if I can zoom past the electric barrier. I can. Now, is that a good thing or not? And hey, where are we? Well, we've been here before. I hit the wrong button there. See, I don't know if this is the right way. Nothing's told us about map. Oh, touchpad. That's a terrible map. It doesn't even say where we are on it. <laughs> oh no, this, is, this game. But yeah, no, I forgot I need to get, oh, come on. Little critter down there. So what happened? What I was going to say was, what happens if I just zip past it? Okay, so that's not what you want to do. I just don't know if this is where I need to be, where I need to go. down here. Death. That's what's down there. I feel like we've, yeah, we did this one as well. That bear stay dead. So, is this the way we need to go, or is it for the story and to continue playing, or is this the way we need to go to get the power up? Oops. We're back here again. So we got fireflies. They've now disappeared. One of them goes up here, so maybe there's something up here.
There is. All right. <laughs> well, that wasn't very effective. Uh, we're not going to be able to get through there. We need to go through there twice with the power up because there's two of them. It's not going to work. I can't punch the flower to change it. Oh, now it wants to do it. Oh, that'll do it. Squish the bugs. Oh man, do I risk it? Nuts. Oh, we need a better jump. How do I get up there? Or maybe I need to go across. But I guess when there's a wall there. Maybe that's not a wall. Let's test it out. Don't fall back. Come on. Ah. Come on. I can't jump. There we go. You have to jump right at the correct moment. Well, that doesn't seem to do anything now. So I get to here, and then I can't do anything else. Oh, apart from chasing this, but that doesn't do anything. Hmm. I'm guessing this is not the way to go. Of course, yeah. Hey, they're not going to come up and help, are they? Did it again. Okay, so we know. Who are these three? Show me where to go. Where's this one going? Well, we've done that. We can't do the top one, so we have to go left. Damn it, again! So we come on the left one. Where do we need to go? Well, yes, but where? Well, perhaps I just need to jump a little bit more. back here again. What am I meant to do here? Ah, oh, a bit too far away. So this nonsense. I 
Okay, so you can't do the jump while you're clinging on. I don't think that's the right way. Mm. Oh no, I restart the other side, don't I? That side, ah. I do have to wait for that to go. Perhaps I have to do a lot of platforming really quickly. <laughs> and I got hit by that one. Wow, that doesn't work either. Um, I got a card. So this doesn't do anything. <laughs> Could put me at the bottom. Yes. Ah. So all that area was was just for getting a card. And did you notice the game didn't explain at all what that card did? And I'm back here again. No idea what for. Anything else? Anywhere else? Ah. Maybe I do need to go down there and I just don't need to press the analog stick. Maybe I can get it in the right place and just kind of fall down the middle. Okay. Okay, game. Ah, that was my mistake that time. I think what we'll do is we'll get to a new area and call it an end for part one. And I have to think if I want to keep doing this. No. I'm pretty sure I wasn't even touching the analog stick then. Oh, nearly corrected myself a little bit too much there, nearly. This is just another scroll getting thing. It is. I say scroll. I do mean card.
Whew. Nearly. I don't know how to shoot down, so... Uh, I don't mean shoot down, I mean... Use my ability down. I know it's death there. Is there anything down here? Hmm, nothing I really want to try, I don't think. This boss creature again, still here. It does feel like we are going round in circles. I don't know where to go. Ah, nuts. Ah. I think I'm going to end it there because I am getting frustrated. So where do we go? Okay, so now that's flashy, I can see that. You're saying left, up, and diagonal. So I guess there is somewhere we need to go. But what's this page for? Why have an extra page if there's nothing on it and no hints as to what goes on it? <laughs> Extra zoom. It doesn't help. But there's no doubt Tesla Grad has great graphics, interesting puzzles. But it it's storytelling through the environment is not great and that's where we're currently suffering is that the lack of direction where to go there's no signpost there's no person in the world pointing us where to go in the beginning we were chased right so we knew we had to go right we couldn't go left there's nothing chasing us here there's nothing pushing us in a set direction which kind of means we can go all directions. But it feels like we've gone all the ways we can. There's nothing pushing us to where we need to be. So, at the moment, it's more the storytelling, I suppose, is the frustrating part at the moment. That the game isn't able to tell its story through platforming and gameplay. There's only perhaps set pieces, maybe. Like that big monster. The cool looking monster. What is it? What did it do? All the way towards the monster, we could have had in the background of the walls the story of the monster, what the monster does. Instead, we had art of the game, of the area, of just like lines and scribbles. It feels like a wasted opportunity to tell story through the gameplay, through the environment. So that's what's got me bummed out about this game at the moment. We don't have a lot about the world. We don't have very, we've got very little about anything. I think I'll definitely give it one more part to see what happens. But it's a game of big highs and big lows at the moment. If you do have Tesla Grad, I wouldn't say spoil the story or spoil what I need to do, but some hints might be nice. Or perhaps I'm missing a key part of the game. A cue maybe, like the fireflies, maybe there's something in the environment that I'm missing the cue from. But until part two, or until I see you checking out some of our other videos or playlists or YouTube shorts, or maybe I'll see you over at Kofi. As a small YouTube channel, we get no money from YouTube, but with Kofi, 
we can get PayPal donations, and we've got a couple of subscription tiers as well. But wherever or whenever I see you again, please take care.